In this video, we're going to discuss the least squares regression method for examining mixed costs. So if you remember, when we talk about mixed costs, we're basically talking about costs that have a fixed component. So there's a fixed cost element, and then there's also a variable cost component. And we've talked about in a previous video about using the high-low method for estimating the variable cost per unit so that we can go ahead and, and kind of parse out uh, this this fixed cost and variable cost component of a mixed cost. But kind of one drawback to this this high-low method is that if you remember we just said okay well we're gonna have uh, this this uh, fraction where we have in the, in the numerator we have the change in cost at the highest activity level and then in the denominator we have the change in the activity level the number of the units and basically this is gonna give us the slope in other words it's also going to be the variable cost per unit uh, however we're just using uh, really two plot point or we're using two two points here two data points when we're doing this change in cost and then two data points when we're doing the change in activity but we're going to have a lot more in actual practice a lot more data points so why don't we use all the data we have instead of just picking the highest and the lowest numbers and then just taking the difference well with this least squares regression method uh, we're actually going to use uh, a computer or statistical software programs excel something like that to go ahead and run a regression that's going to use all the data points in, instead of just the highest and, and the lowest ones so how would this look in actual practice well let's say that for our firm we had some mixed costs we were looking at and then we plotted the cost on, on the y-axis here and then we had uh, the activity level right the number of units or so forth whatever it is and and we can go and say okay well we can go and plot our points at, at this activity level right here uh, we have this is this is our cost that's that's our our data point uh, that corresponds to that and so we can plot out uh, these different points as we've done here and then in addition to that what we can do is use Excel or some kind of software package uh, to actually run a line run a line right through there that's that's actually maybe put a line maybe it would look more like that no that's still not great but you get the idea basically we're running a line uh, through these data points in such a way that it that it fits and what do we mean by fit well actually what what we're happening so let's just assume that this is our line there that that's actually an accurate line so here we've got our actual let me write this out so this is our actual cost our actual y value right is that yellow dot for like this given level of activity right here okay now this line the computer is actually the software package is estimating right here this is and if you just see this little arrow this is our estimated y value so this is the estimated y value for that given level of activity right so this is what the computer predicted it would be we know that's not actual but we're trying to fit the line to this okay and now this 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 difference here I don't know if it's, that's a good way of indicating right here this this area that is what we we call the error right because it's the difference between the actual y value and the estimated y value that's produced when we get this line uh, from the software system so I you know I don't want to go into all the details of, of what a regression is but this is the basics uh, and so what the computer system is trying to do is minimize these errors right it's trying to find the line that is going to be the best fit in the sense that all these errors are going to be minimized right we don't want uh, some line over here is going to have huge errors and so that's not going to be a good fit so we're going to the computer is going to fit that line the best way through there uh, to minimize those errors and the the end result uh, basically once we get that line fitted in uh, it's going to follow uh, the following equation right so we've got uh, y is equal to and I'll just have we've got this alpha this is the intercept and we'll just say that this alpha is actually going to be the fixed cost right so when you actually plot out when you do your regression in Excel or Stata or SAS or whatever you do you're gonna get output and it's gonna tell you what the intercept is and that's that's this fixed cost that's our that's your alpha and then in addition to that um, here you're gonna have your variable cost per unit so this is variable cost per unit so now we've used all the data points right we didn't just say let's take the high and then let's take the low and then let's just take the difference and we'll get a slope and we'll go we've actually used all the data 
And we've actually used a software pro, uh, program to fit a line that is going to basically follow this this equation right here. And then we can take out of that. Now we've got our, our fixed cost and our variable cost. And there's actually another thing you will see as you as you run this regression. You'll probably see in your results uh, something called r squared, right? You say something like your r squared is is 0.9 or or 90 percent and, and again I won't go into too much depth on this uh, basically R squared is a measure of goodness of fit so when we talk about how well this line fits the data points uh, if you have something like 0.9 as opposed to 0.2 uh, that's meaning that you know you have a much better fit of the data that that line goes through really nicely and that there's not a whole lot of error uh, in between what the actual values are and the estimated values. And so you can have a lot of confidence in saying, okay, look, this fixed cost that we got in terms of our output from running this regression is pretty accurate as well as our, our variable cost per unit that we estimate.